For many people, building size has been instrumental in improving the performance of their builds. We have received a lot of feedback from the community expressing their desire to have this functionality integrated into Visual Studio. Hi, I'm Nelson Troncoso, and today I am excited to announce that for 17.7 Preview 2, Build Insights will be available inside Visual Studio. Also, we have worked closely with Game Studios, whose large and complex code bases can greatly benefit from Build Insights to bring you this tool. So, without further ado, let me show you a preview. Build Insights is included by default in the desktop development with C++ and game development with C++ workloads. To get started, we will need to collect performance data. To do this, under the build menu, you will find an option to run build science on solution, selected project or projects. You can choose between performing a build or a rebuild. I'm going to select build. As soon as the build starts, Visual Studio will be in collecting performance data and it will automatically stop and save that data into an ETL trace. All right, once the build is complete, Visual Studio opens the trace and displays the collected data inside an editor window. A very common issue that can increase the time it takes to compile um, C++ projects is the repetitive parsing of header files, and it gets worse as the size of the code base increases. For this reason, we prioritize and include in the first release to be used to help you troubleshoot similar issues. Include the files and include three. The first view shows how many times a particular file, a file was parsed by the compiler and the time it took. The second, the include tree, displays, displays which headers were included in every file. It basically gives you the include hierarchy. From here, things that you can do is like, for example, go to the source code. Let me show you another file. Oh, yes, another thing that you can do uh, from here is navigate uh, to the other view. As you can see, I went from the header included by that file to this view. Uh, also, you can filter files by name. All right, let's start to investigate. Uh, we can see that the repetitive parsing of some headers takes a significant portion of the build time. Uh, Windows.h takes 15%. Area locators takes 11%, the other 10%, 10%, and it goes from there. By default, uh, building size shows an indicator with the most problematic headers. Um, a possible solution is to do a pre-compiled uh, header, or PCH for short. Here, I have another project, um, which is a duplicate of that one, and I made some changes. Uh, Windows.h and area locator.h um, are included in a PCH. Uh, something you might notice is that I have a C file and I have a CPP file. Uh, the reason is because uh, Windows.h is for uh, C and C++, but ear allocator is just for C++. Let's, let's check. As expected, our build performance has improved significantly. Now it takes 37 seconds. You can see there the, the percentage of parsing duration too. Uh, let's go back. Uh, yeah, so 62 seconds, almost half. And then uh, if we want, we can also search for one of the files, uh, windows.h, and we can see that it's no longer an issue. Just half, uh, half a second now it takes. Um, and we can see that it was included by the C and the C++ file, which is expected because that's what we did. Um, let's go to the include tree. You see the PCH uh, related files are at the top. One last thing. We have also added a button you can use if you would like to dive deeper into your investigation using WPA. Thank you to everyone who provided feedback. 
We hope that this tool will enhance your workflow by helping you improve the performance of your C++ builds. What you see today is only a glimpse of what is possible. We're not done yet. Please continue to give us feedback as we refine this tool and add more capabilities. Thank you.